Hello, everyone. How Hello, are you? everyone. <laughs> Angie just texted me and she's like, are we not going live? And I'm like, yeah, I sent you a link. And then she's like, oh, well, I don't see it. And she goes, well, I oh. got the link. I got that one, yeah. but I couldn't see it. Right. I, I we couldn't, couldn't find the video. YouTube. I couldn't yeah. see the, the live in YouTube. Right. Because I had the wrong thumbnail. <laughs> You know, I put out a video this morning and I put that thumbnail and, you know, hey, use that all day long, I guess. Right, right. So Catherine's here and Sean's here. Hi, Sean. She don't want to work today. Okay. She, I don't want to work any day. Francesca, <laughs> here. Sherry's here. Um, oh, I know, Francesca, doesn't this weather suck? It's, you know, it was so crappy It's because it was so nice earlier in the week. And in fact, Nate and I made a commitment to, um, we have a two and a half car front garage. And then my husband has a pool barn out back where he does all his stuff. So Nate wants, he wants to claim, you know, he's getting to be that age. And he wants to claim half of the front garage for, he has like a air hockey table and a drum set and a, arcade video game and he just wants to be able to hang out there and do stuff you know boy stuff he wants his own space and so i told him i would help him clean out the garage when it got to be warm weather in spring so we went out there i think it was tuesday and worked really hard but we were going to go back out there you know uh wednesday and thursday and continue working but then the weather got crappy well you've looked ahead haven't you Yes, it's supposed to be nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is the way we have to have some rainy days. Okay, if you give me the April shower speech, I'm going to punch you. Well, it's true. <laughs> it is very true. I know, I know. Hey, you know, something else interesting I was thinking about, I don't know why, but for the life of me, when we were planning our retreat, I could not remember when the leaves get on the trees in Michigan. I just couldn't remember. I, I It just... I, Right. My, so, but I was looking out at my apple tree yesterday and I'm starting to get leaves on my apple tree. Well, yeah. So it feels uh, good. Yeah. And my, um, we have a um, crab apple that um, is getting ready to bloom, actually. You know, yeah. you can just thank the April showers for that. Well, I'm going to thank Mr. Sunshine. <laughs> my tulip garden was needing rain. It really was. I have a few tulips, but they're on the north side of my privacy fence. And so right where my, uh, my. Uh, uh, Spit it out. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, we were talking about it last week. My, my, my flowers that I didn't think were going to bloom. Oh, my, your peonies? My peonies. Your yeah. peonies. Yep. That's where, right where my peonies are. So my I, peonies. Oh my gosh. My peonies are up. Are they? See, oh, it might yeah. be for a while because I realized it's because I have uh, have them on the north side yeah. of that big privacy fence. So everything Mine there is kind of late. Up. Who else popped in? Linda and Deborah and Jody are here. Hi, guys. Hello, ladies. How Hello. is everyone? Does that bother you when um, people say guys, but they're ladies? No. Oh, okay. I know um, it, it does bother some people. Oh, Hey guys. Do I have the correct crochet hook here? I'm using a four, right? Yep, you're supposed to use a four. <laughs> yeah. Do I have the right hook? You know, I just grabbed my project and there's multiple hooks on the table. So yep, I hear you. Always open. I had this on my body a minute ago because I'm trying to see because this next round we join, like we're joining. See it, see it, see it. It's a top. See? Yep. It's <laughs> so we be a top. join, we join here and make sleeves so this is this is the whole like this is going to be connected from this point this has to go around the top of my body right yep and i'm like is it gonna work is it gonna work i don't know well i noticed that i i just know from making other wearables in a raglan fashion for myself that i need eight inches between my shoulder and my armpit so yeah. I had to do some extra rounds. Did you? And see, yeah. when you were here the other day, we measured mine. And yeah, mine you was, right on. Mine was even a little bit more because I had to do yep. another couple rounds maybe yep. after that. I, I ended up having to do a couple more rounds because I'm just, 
I'm just I, concerned. Well, my, I have big upper arms. Um, like I always have, even when I was thin, I had big upper arms for my size. So I think my arm holes always need to be a little bit bigger than normal. I got to figure out which direction I was going here. Yeah, I didn't join for exactly that reason. I, I joined mine because I wanted to try it on and I just thought I, I, I got it though. I'm going this your way, right? This oh, Cherry's thing. Weeping Cherry and Lilacs are blooming nice. Lilacs? Well, no. Yeah, we're a long way from Lilacs. Here. No, we're Lilacs so won't be until like June. June, yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Let me make gonna, sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. All right, I'm going to join and we're going to chain one and turn again. I disconnected so I could prove that I was on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> and hi, Michelle. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and extend it single crochet in each stitch up until the chain two space. Right. And then we do this funky thing. Well, it's not funky. We're just going to do it. Funky. It's not funky. It's just what you do. Like I said, I'm just hoping that it will fit when I get it all joined together. So I've been working my booty off on that blanket I showed you guys last week. Um, the one that I'm repurposing my uh, Franken blanket yarn for. And you'd be shocked at how, how far I've gotten since last week. Bet we would be shocked. It's growing, finally. Did you finish those other things? We won't say what, but those other small uh, things? I have got an employee on that. An employee. Yep, I've got an employee on there. You got there. Maddie working on? I do. I do. <laughs> I sent her home with. She has some, an employee. Yep, okay. sent her home with some yarn and some patterns, and she's working on it. So. All right. <laughs> we can't. And I do. I'll pick one up. I, I'll like do one a night. You know what I mean? Okay. We cannot speak about it. Sorry. That which shall not be named. That's right. Later. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I, um, you know, I'm having house guests um, for the retreat um, or bef before the retreat. Marissa's going to come and stay with me. Right. And um, I invited Deborah, but I haven't heard any solid uh, travel plans from her. So I need to get with her and see if she's if she's still going to come as well. But, you know, I got to get my house clean for house guests. <laughs> right. You've only got a couple weeks, too. I know. I've only got a couple weeks. I need to get on the ball here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, then my dogwood's not even close to blooming yet. Now my we've got an extended single crow. I'm sorry. Go ahead. My dogwoods, my uh, red buds, none of those are blooming yet. I'm not to the end yet here. Oh, okay. Well, so I thought I'd talk for a minute. Okay, when we get to the chain two space, you'll extend it single crochet into the chain two space. Just like we did the last time. Oh, I need to call Marissa. Oh, okay. I will do that. Oh, Angie needs to call Marissa. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Well, that's not, you know, that's well, there's, Melinda. No, there's no surprise there. So, okay, my, okay. In so my chain two space. In your chain mm -hmm. two space, you did one extended single, and then you're going to chain three, and then we're going to skip all the way over to the next. And now, space. here's my question: What way do you do it? Yeah. Okay. You want to fold it, and you want to go into it from the front. just like this and how do we know which way is the front well make it so be well you don't want to go into it so that it's you want to go into it so that it when so it looks like a shirt you know what i mean fold it fold it in half like this well, fold it like i had it folded before yep yep fold it in half like this and then go in from the front yep and then go in from the front into the chain two space yes and we're going to do a, and I lost my pattern. 
and we're going to do a, uh, an extended single crochet into that chain two space. And then we are going to uh, do an uh, extended signal in every stitch up until the next chain two space. So we're going all along the back of it now. Yes. Or while well, the front, I think. Whatever I they think we're our, Yeah. Our are we doing any more space. extended in that corner or just nope. that one? Nope. Just that one. Okay. So we just go into the next. Yep. -er. So we get this weird little chain three in our armpit. Yes. Well, that's interesting. Well, we'll fill it in in the next round. Yeah, but that just gives us a little more space. Yes, exactly. Which is fine, because I think yeah. I need a little more space there. I was going to have Dale come in and uh, grab my armpits <laughs> and join <laughs> them together. <laughs> but he, he didn't cooperate. He's outside doing stuff still. So I was like, oh. Is doing stuff in the rain? It's not raining. Oh, it's raining here. No, it's not raining. It is raining here because my I just let my dogs out and they do not like to be outside when it's raining. I thought that was just my little dogs. No, my dogs are big dogs and they go out, do their business and come right back. There's no wandering around. Yeah. No, it's not raining. It hasn't been raining most of the day today. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Oh, so we haven't talked about uh, our meeting, our get together Monday. Are, are we are we talking about it to everybody? I mean, well, my... we're going to talk about one very important. Oh, okay, that. Okay, all right. Not everything else, because the rest is retreat stuff. Well, yeah, no, 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 not everything else. We're we going to talk we did about retreat stuff. Yes, we're going to talk about the eclipse. Okay, yeah. So you have to. I know that you were very. Um, unenthused about it when we last spoke last Friday. Yes. <laughs> but you have to admit it was pretty cool. It's an eclipse. It's, yeah, I mean. It was cool. I brought, Jeff went and got us some uh, glasses, some eclipse glasses. So um, we did get to see it through the glasses, which was very neat. I was surprised. I was very, very surprised at how dark it did not get. It did not get? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be like nighttime darkness. Oh, no. But I mean, wasn't. we had a pretty good coverage here, too. We did, 96.2%. But I saw a lot of other we people's videos and stuff, too. And it wasn't dark, dark where they were either, even no, if they were in total. Because Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, think about it. I was it. surprised by that. I mean, the sun is still creeping out around that shadow. Yes. You know. Yes. I guess did, I just expected it. It did get it. like stormy feeling is what it felt like. Like it, it did. could rain or storm. And like Dale said, was saying the, like all the birds stopped chirping. It got really quiet. Except the vultures that? that were flying over. Yeah, except for the vultures. <laughs> Stop for the vultures they were out they were looking for food still <laughs> yes they were oh, i think there might have been something in that field there's always something in a field yeah i know <laughs> okay so and then when you get to your next corner wow i am not even close to my corner yet oh. <laughs> right Terry. yes i will probably clean the night before <laughs> that's when I do my best work um, and then we'll fold it and then make sure you fold it in the same way obviously so you don't have a big twist in your shirt chain three and extended crochet and extended single into that chain space and then extended single all the way back to your starting point so now since we're not going to be increasing the sleeve or we're not going to be doing the sides that have the sleeves our rounds are going to take us less time because we only have to go around the body not the body do we add to the sleeves at some point or is this the whole sleeve 
Uh, it's, it looked on the um, on the picture, it just looked like a cap sleeve. So this is it for the sleeve? Yep. But, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, of course, add a, 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 a bit more onto the sleeve if you wanted to. But in the pattern, it looked like it was just a cap sleeve. But I, I, I didn't read ahead, so I'm not sure. Right. I only read to this round here. But you can do anything you want. We do exactly what we did the last time. We go yep, uh, into, into, the, the, into the chain two space. with our extended space. chain yep. three. Yep. And then go grab our other corner. Yep. And just make sure you don't twist it around or it'll be a pretty funky looking shirt. Goodness gracious. Me, oh my, oh. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> one thing I did find when uh, Nate and I were out cleaning the garage, I haven't worn them in several years. And, you know, my feet have... I'm in the wrong place. Not grown, but I think like flattened out. You know what I mean? They've just, as I've gotten older, I just feel like my feet are bigger than they used to be. But I had some really cool cowboy boots when I was younger. And I found my cowboy boots. Well, look at you. Yeah. You going to wear those when you ride the mechanical bull? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. And then you're going to join when you got back. You're back already? Uh-huh. Down that whole side? Yeah. <sighs> Okay, I'm like six stitches down after my corner. <laughs> and then we will chain one and turn and then just go around and do an extended crochet in each stitch and chain. So those three chains that you made will put a extended crochet into or extended single into those chains. And how'd you get all the way back around already? Magic. I used sorcery and wizardry. Uh-oh, Emma's buying diamond paintings this weekend. What are you buying, Emma? Uh-oh. Speak I, to we us. We missed Emma last week to give us the... Yeah, you weren't here last week to talk diamond paintings. Talk with diamond us. paintings, yeah. Of course, they had another dachshund, and I'm like, why did you do another dachshund? I, I don't need another dachshund right now. <laughs> I know they, um, my, my friend, Sarah, she diamond paints and, um, she, her, like, you know, everybody has, well, not everybody, but you know, I, it, this is true for me anyways, you have like the dog of your life. You know what I mean? Like the dog that you loved more than any other dog. Well, the dog of her life was her pug. She had a pug and I got her a few years ago, a couple years ago, the, the one pug diamond painting from DAC. And then a couple weeks, was it two weeks ago or one week ago, they came out with another pug. And I was like, man, I really like that one better. But how many pug diamond paintings can I get for her, you know? Oh, because we're not going all the way to the end. We're only going to our middle. That's right. how you got so far so exactly. fast. Exactly. God, I'm like, exactly. how did you get all the way to the other end? Oh, yeah, just back to the joining. Point. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so <laughs> now now we're chaining one and turning around and going back the other way. Yep. And yep, yep, yep. I'm like, you're not that far ahead of me, are you? I'm like, how do you get all the way to the other end? Well, you're not going to the other end. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I love this comfy cotton yarn, but the one thing that it does do, because the, um, the, uh, the strands of it are because uh, it's a, an acrylic cotton blend. So there's acrylic strands and cotton strands. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it gets um, like caught up. You know what I mean? Sometimes some of the strands get, get scrunched up. Get scrunched? Scrunched. That's the technical term. I got, yeah. Technical term is scrunched. I see. We're scrunching. Did I see the DD Vermont Church? 
No, would that be the one that probably just came out this afternoon? Because I haven't seen that. No. I haven't seen anything. And now when you work into this chain, make sure you're going to be working into it, the back of it. So you might want to tilt it. To, you know what I mean? Because it's you because you turned at your last. Well, I'm not quite there yet. I'll let you know how I feel about it when I get there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do that. Oops, I should have turned off my notifications. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll have to go look at it. Mikey Bergman at DD. He's been there for a while. They've had Mikey Bergman for a hot minute now. I have I, one. My, my, my palms are itchy. Oh. You should buy a lottery ticket then. Well, no, not literally. That's what, I, right. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> when the last time when I ordered that Benedict Blue, I told you with the restock, I didn't think to look at my points balance at DAC. And I forgot that I got birthday points too in January. I, I've got like almost a hundred dollars in points right now. So what'd you do when you got to your chains? You just do an extended signal. signal no, but what did, I mean, you said something about the back and the front. or Well, it's going to look like you're at the back of the chain because we've well, turned our work. We are. Yep. So just, you know, do I, I just twisted mine a little so I could work my crochets into the front of my chain. Well, I'm just going in the back. Like You can do that, too. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just going in the back. As long as I get three of them in there, yep, you could do, you you do the back bump if you could figure it out. But I hey. hate working in the back bump. I'm not doing it. I'm just going in. I'm just going in in three little places and making three things. Yep, that's that all sense. you need to do. That makes sense. I'll have to pause in a second and see what painting Sherry is talking about. I know I was curious too. Oh, so anyways, when I realized how much money I have in points, now I've got itchy fingers for or an itchy palm uh, to spend them up. But I yeah. haven't seen anything that I just have to have. I got really no points anywhere, not to speak of. Anyhow. I was surprised. I usually don't let my, I'm not one to save my points. I, I like to use them when I get them. And I was surprised that I had let them build up. I haven't bought much. A few here and there. Oh, I haven't bought much hardly. I mean, that one. And I'm not happy with Dreamer Designs. I'll tell you why. Why? I'm happy. Why? I love because Dreamer they, Designs. Well, I'll tell you what I'm not happy with. Okay. Because they have gone to shipping DHL. Why don't you like that? <laughs> because they don't come. What do you mean? DHL always comes to me really fast. No, ma'am. No, really? Ma it's sitting in Illinois. It's been sitting in Illinois. No kidding. Nope. So it will come DHL to my post office, and my post office will deliver it to me. Oh, but, oh okay. But DHL, getting it out of uh, Illinois, it's not happening. It's just like sitting there. And I guess I've never had Dreamer Designs from DHL, but my other things, deliveries I've had from DHL have always been really fast. Mm, yeah, but that's not from Dreamer Designs. That's from other places, right? Other companies and whatnot. I like um, Francesca. You know, it's I like landscapes. I, I'll tell you, you know, it's probably easier to tell you what I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like, like, uh, like girly stuff, like, like fairy ladies and, you know, cutesy. I'm, I'm not really into cutesy. Mindy's cutesy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just not into the cutesy stuff. And landscapes. and I do like, um, I love like, uh, um, Classics like uh, like old masters type stuff. I love that. 
You know what? You know what? I've got one di- one uh, thing that I've always wanted a diamond painting of, and I would love to someday get it as a custom. And there is one company that has it, but I, it's a company that I prefer not to do business with. <laughs> right, Sherry? It's just sitting there, right? Mine from last Saturday, too, just sitting there. It's called um, All is Vanity is the name of the painting and it's an old master and I really, really want to do it as a diamond painting. Never it's heard of it. All is vanity. It, I'm trying to think of the name of the artist and it's escaping me because hey, am I getting so tangled? But you can look it's yeah, it's like from the eighteen hundreds. It it's a painting from the eighteen hundreds. So it's you know it's there's no um copyright or anything. You know, it's free game fair what is that called when it's old and you don't have to public about domain it. yeah 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 sorry <laughs> you ever, i'm having one of those days where words are just words like, are not coming huh? right words are hard today i love florals a, a good floral see i don't I love, like, like Alyssa Carl. I don't I like, like all of hers. I like most of them. I do like most of them. I just started a cute one from um, Crystal Canvas that I'm really enjoying. Um, it's square. It's square crystals, and I do love the square crystals. It's uh, it's like a dragon's a close up of a dragon's eyeball. Uh, I think Brandy has that. Yeah, it's fun. I, I'm really enjoying that. it. I don't know if she's done that one, but I think she has it. I gotten well. I'll show you how far I am. Hold on, let me finish this row. I just felt the need for something, and then the other artist I really like was one that. Um, you know, and this is probably, this is just personal opinion. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Distracted by Diamonds. I just, I, of their kits themselves. Um, but they do have one artist that I really like and it's, uh, oh. Bob Doucette. Yes, Bob Doucette. Love I knew Bob that. Doucette. Yes. I, love I knew Doucette. that was going to be your style. Yep. Yep. So I, yeah, this is the one I started with the. But, oh, let me bring my camera up a little bit so you can see. But I got, I've got that much done. Okay, it's fun. I'm having a good time with it. Yeah, that's the one that Brandy has. Yeah. But I really do like that Benedict blue. That's, I, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. But I sat it aside because, like I said last week, I don't want, I want to let it make it last. <laughs> I never want to make them last. I want to get them done. Oh, come on. The chains are a pain in the ass. And then, who was? Oh, Medusa. I used to really like Medusa the doll maker when she was with, uh, uh, what was that place that went out of business? Yeah. DIY yeah. Moon Shop. DIY Moon, yep. Yes, that Deborah. It's a Victorian picture with a skull. Yes, Charles Allen Gilbert. Mm hmm. Exactly. Oh, skulls. All is vanity. Yep, all is vanity. Angie and the skulls. Angie, I am a big fan of skulls. And especially, I love a mixture of skulls and floral. I think that's beautiful. But I do, I do, my probably, I do love a good landscape. I'll take the florals all day with no skulls, please. Now, all this vanity is gorgeous. It's my dream. It's I've for years I've wanted to have a custom done of all this vanity. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> Okay, 
see it's this it's a late i don't know if you can see that very well but it's a it's a victorian woman sitting at a vanity looking in the mirror wow. but the mirror reflection is actually a skull it's very cool no thank you oh i love it that's the yeah i, I know jada gem has it that's i know has what all is vanity I oh. prefer I prefer not to. They do? Yeah. I don't. Not my style. Sean, you've been eyeballing that one? Okay, so now we've done our first round around with our putting no. our No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. Remember, my sweater's larger. I have a more stitches. Well, that's fine because we're just going to do this. It's me longer. We're going to keep doing that. What, more rounds of? We're more rounds of this. Yep. Chain one, turn, and. Yep, because you have to think this has got to cover our entire boob area. Well, so I that, hope it's going to cover some boob because... Yeah, this has got to cover our entire boob area. So we're, we're I was thinking it was looking a, a little too small. How many rounds so, do we do of this? Well, this, this round that we're currently doing is depending on your size. For you, it should be round 25. For me, it's round 23. But it's not really because I did extra rounds. Um, All right. Okay. And it says we have to, you have to do another 12 rounds of this. So that obviously is going to be. Whole okay. Now, so hang on. How many, we did our joining round and we did our next round, round yep. 25. Yep. And so, so technically 20, this is round 26. Correct. And you have you have to go through round 39. I'm gonna need to write this down. I'm on 26. Yep. This is round 26. And I'm not gonna go by that. I am going to actually go by trying it on and uh when it gets to the point that it covers my boobs, then I'll be good. But of course I'll do it with a bra on because we discussed that last week. Bra right? Bra yeah, if you don't have knees. a bra on, it's gonna fit totally different. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going from round 26 to round 39. Okay. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to go look at this uh, Dreamer design. Um, oh, yeah. Check, yeah. Let's, see let's see what that is. Let's see what that's all what about. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, man. Angie, who is that? Who Who's is the artist? I don't know. I can't see what you're looking at. I'm going to show you in a minute. Marie August Anderson. Oh, this is super pretty. Hang on. Yes, Sean, the double meaning. Exactly. There it is. It. It's like a woman's, yes. See, Andrew? Let me see. Oh. Yeah, you know, I'm not into churches. It's gorgeous, except for the church. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. All the flowers, the leaves, yes. the fall, the horse. It's got a palomino over in the pasture. I wonder if the sign says, oh, okay. The sign in the picture says pumpkins and mums, and they've changed the sign to just say for sale. Well, yeah, because they probably that would be too much. Too, too detailed. And there's yeah. another little sign. You can't read the sign in the picture anyhow. So they just took the words out of that one. That's really pretty. I really like that. Sean, that's why I like the um, like skulls with flowers. So I Angie, like it's a good double. This double is the movie. Alyssa Kari this week. See, that's very very pretty, but I I I like the ones that are more. I like like the I I don't care for the purple as much. <laughs> <laughs> I like the ones that are more like oranges and yellows oh. and and reds. This one. This is the style I don't like, but it's not because of the colors. It's just because it's too much. Yeah, it's a lot. I think it's the favorite one was the dahlias. I liked the dahlias. 
I don't know. I like that Dreamer Designs though. But man, like I'm saying, I'm mad at Dreamer Designs because. And you ordered it last Saturday? Yeah. Because they can't seem to, you know, ship. Well, I wonder, maybe you should let them know. Is this a, I mean, is this not the first time it's happened, obviously? No. Maybe you should let them know. No, when did they, when did they switch? When did they switch? I don't to know. I, I don't know when they switched, but they did. I mean, you know, maybe if enough people let them know that their new like, delivery this system. Is not, this is not working well, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's like anything. They got a better rate from DHL and decided maybe. to give it a try. But DHL is just being a pooper. I know. There's a restaurant. There's a local restaurant here that we used to go to. And they stopped. They switched from Coke products to Pepsi products. And because Coke was increasing their prices, the Coke distributor. And uh, I was like, mm, no, thanks. I'll just have water. And I mean, and, but a, a lot of people must have done that because then they started selling Coke by the can. So they had Pepsi as their fountain, but they would sell Coke by the can. Okay. You know me, I love it when they have Pepsi in their restaurant. Ugh. I hate Pepsi. Gross. <laughs> and I hate Coke out of a bottle or a can, but if it's a fountain drink, I can handle Diet Coke that way. The only Pepsi product I will drink is um, Mountain Dew, but that's only like in a pinch. I don't like love it or anything. Now, nobody in the world has anything like Mountain Dew. No. Except Fago. Oh my gosh, we have this. Okay, people who are not in Michigan won't know about this, but the oldest soft drink in the world is Verner's. And it was, I mean, um, so it, it's kind of a contested thing because some people say Dr. Pepper, but if you really research it, it actually was Verner's. I would have no idea the oldest soft drink. I've never looked into that. It's Verner's. <laughs> and <laughs> Verner's is only available for sale in Michigan. Um, people who live outside Michigan can't get Verner's. Well, Verner's right now has a special edition soda it is a uh, wild cherry verners and it's very very delicious Hello, but everyone. they are um at my local fruit and meat market um down the road from us they are selling it now at meyer it's eight dollars for a 12 pack of cans at regular price like 762 or something like that for a 12 pack of cans our local fruit and meat market, and I don't know how they're doing this, is selling it for $1.50 a 12-pack. Nobody wants it? Uh, no, everybody wants it. It's all the rage up here. Oh, I've never even heard of it. Oh, it's delicious. You should try it if you get a chance. I'm not even a fan of Verner's, so. No? No. Nah. Well, the wild cherry is really good. No, I would not like that. Do you like wild cherry Coke too? And no, 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 no. See, no, I no. I don't like a cherry in my pop. As a matter of fact, one of the restaurants, I think it's a Wendy's. I don't know. It's one of the places you go where they have the the machine that has all of the flavors and stuff. Oh, and you push, you push you the button. Add, you can make a cherry screen. Coke. You can make yeah, a whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I do not like their pop because the cherry it flavor has a residual. Good. Yeah. And I don't like it. Don't. I like the only, I don't like, you know, to mess with my sodas. Um, but occasionally at the movie theater, because they have one of those machines, I do enjoy a Diet Coke with lime. I find it interesting you're calling it your soda. Why? Because most of us don't call it soda. I've always called it soda. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's pop. Mm, I've always called it soda. It's interesting. You're a Michigan girl. We, yeah. we call it pop here. Most people do. I don't know what. I just always have. <laughs> it is interesting now that I think about it. Yeah. Right? Because, I mean, you know, that's what, you know, we're known for calling our drinks pop. 
I never really thought about it until you just mentioned it. <laughs> See, Jennifer, you would like the um um Oh, Verner's is available in other states, Francesca. I didn't I just did some reading about it and I didn't think it was. I don't think it's widely available like across the country, but but you know how people say that Meyer is a Michigan store. Well, no, they have Meyer in like Indiana and yeah. Ohio. And yeah. So, I think there's even one in Kentucky now. There is. That's the most southern one. It's, it's huge too. Yeah. Do you know my ex-husband actually worked for Meyer? Where he retired, that's where he retired from. Both of my neighbors. Well, he still works for Meyer, and she retired from Meyer. He was a buyer um, in the uh, for Michigan um, for the men's boys and shoes department. But then he, as he got older, he didn't like traveling so much, so he became a store director. Meyer is also another place I'm not truly happy with lately. Well, not lately. A few years, pandemic, post pandemic. I want to hear why, because Jeff's not happy with them either right now. Well, mine's a weird reason, and so Jeff. Jeff would not even care about oh, this. Jeff but, is also a weird reason. Okay, we, we can tell Jeff's in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-pandemic, I used to buy a ton of clothes at Meyer. Yeah. Lots of clothes. Yeah. They had cute stuff. Women's did, department yeah. was really nice. They redid the store and the pandemic hit, and it's not even just the one store. They don't have clothes like they used to they have very small selection of women's clothing they have as large a section as they used to have but when you walk through it there's like space so much space. oh yeah the racks are like you know way a good distance apart and so there's just less clothing well, and my ex-husband would tell you that the reason for that is because the profit margin in the sales was not um, supporting um, that what they were carrying. But they used to have such nice stuff, such yeah. cute things. I used to buy a lot of clothes there. They premier their big profit comes from groceries, so and it's they disappointing. Yeah, very disappointing. We actually went to Vegas a couple of times. There's a, a buyer's show in um, Las Vegas every year. It's called the Magic Show. And I don't remember what that stands for, but it was all the different fashion vendors and um, buyers um, from around the country. And I can remember them talking about that. Because I'm one of those people, I still like to try clothes on. Oh, I can't yeah. buy anything online. Um, it doesn't yeah. work. It doesn't fit me right. So it was always nice to have a nice oh, local store yep. that had some clothes I could go in and try on. And, you know, Walmart. I love clothes shopping at Target. Target used to have really nice clothes, but they seem like they got, and this is going to sound silly, but it seems like they got expensive. Well, I haven't shopped at Target much since I don't work near a Target anymore. It's more of a, a trip for me, you know what I'm right. saying? But why is Jeff unhappy? Um, because they are doing a thing um, where they're uh, two for three. Like, let's say something's two for three dollars. You have to buy two. What? Yes, to get the two for three dollars. Really? Yeah. Okay, I have not noticed that. Yeah, because he got, yeah. Yes. I had not noticed that. Of course, I don't know that I bought anything that's two for three recently. Well, I, I was just using that as an example. Yeah. Two I, for whatever. It, you have to buy both of them. Uh, I hadn't noticed that. See, Sherry, that's what I... um. My problem with buying stuff online and then returning it if it doesn't fit is that I never get around to doing the returns and then it's just a big waste. Well, I'll return, but I don't like to. It's just a pain in the butt to order something, get it, return it. I just... 
and clothing is so weird for me. It would be like I could I could get multiples and they would just not work, but I actually lucked out. I only have, right now, I have one pair of good jeans that fit me. And they are Levi's that I ordered um, from Amazon. And um, and they, they came and they fit perfect. They fit so good. I wish I would have gotten a couple pair. Well, that doesn't happen for me. No, it doesn't happen for me very often. I mean, you got my little waist and my big butt and um, pants will hardly ever fit properly i remember my grandma used to always take my pants and she would sew darts in them for me oh okay just so the waist would so fit waist. better yeah see my grandma I'm going through I, both of my loops on my single crochets and it's getting on my nerves um my problem was on my top half i am very short shouldered so I could never, anything that had like um, straps, any tops with straps, my grandma always had to uh, shorten them, shorten my straps. Yeah. Yeah. Deborah returns suck, huh? Hi, Lori. That's funny. Oh, there's Lori. I was going to say, you're saying hello to somebody I don't see yet. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When I go to Belk, right? <laughs> it's going to be a while. Well, not too long, but. Do they have Belks in Tennessee? They're down south. Yeah, I know they're down south. I think the only time I ever been to one was in Florida. But I know they have a mother. I think they're even down in lower Ohio, maybe. Oh, okay. Don't, don't quote me, but. You know how we were talking on our, when we went to Texas on the road trip about all the random stupid things I know? Yeah. Well, apparently I don't know enough random stupid shit. Oh, why? What don't you know? Well, we have our little local watering hole here. Um, <laughs> has hole. trivia night on Wednesdays. Oh. We like to go to we like to go there on Wednesdays for dinner because they have um, steak sandwich oh, and they have very good steak sandwiches. So we started going on Wednesday. Well, Nate decided he wanted to do trivia that we should you know join the trivia gate or you know. Is of. this recent? Because you did this once before. Yeah, well, no, we're doing it every week now. This is our oh. Thing. Yep, we're okay. a team. Yep, we have a team and we're in the, we're doing it. We're, now it's we're, a weekly thing. It's a thing. Well, except we decided this week that we're only going to be able to do it every other week because it's getting expensive. Oh, wow. Time, it costs money to, or just. No, but by the time you sit there and have dinner and, oh. you know, Jeff has too many root beers because we've sat there so long. And, and they don't yeah. charge you for trivia. No, no. In fact, you can win prizes. Okay. So we had, um, we decided we needed to expand our team, expand our wealth of knowledge because uh, last time we came in last place. Oh. Yeah. You did really good the first time, didn't you? Yeah. We came in last place. And um, so Maddie, who's also very, very, she's got, she knows a lot of stupid shit stuff. Um, her and her boyfriend came with us to trivia night on Wednesday. And I am 100% convinced that people are cheating. Oh, well, probably. Because there is no way, I mean, just the breadth of topics that they go over. There's no way that these people know the answers to everything. Like, there's got to be something you're not good at. You know what I mean? You would think. Heck, I'm happy if I watch Jeopardy, if I know the answers to two or three questions in a night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I knew that one. I knew that. <laughs> so we didn't come in last place this week, but we certainly did not come in first. I think there's 12 teams, and I think we came in eighth. Same so, people all the time. It's this. Um, it 
Uh, so far, it's been pretty much the same people that I've noticed. I think sometimes, the, you know, some people are there and not others, but I have noticed, you know, the same team names or whatever. Do you want to know what our team name is? Oh, I can only imagine knowing your children and... <laughs> okay, go, lay it on us. What is it? We're the meerkats. Okay, that's not as weird as I thought it would be. But okay. why meerkats? Well, because it's from an episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, of course. Well, there you go. And your cats are just adorable. They're my favorite animal at the zoo. They are, really? Oh, I love the meerkats. I don't think our zoo has any meerkats. I love meerkats, and I love, um, I also love prairie dogs. I think their prairie dogs are just super cute, too. Well, they're not that dissimilar. No, they're not. No, they're pretty similar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeff's favorite animal at the zoo are the penguins. I'll take the big cats. Penguins and polar bears, Jeff loves. So there's a zoo in Michigan. I think I think it's the John Ball Zoo, which is near Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. I've never been there. Well, they are doing this thing. It's just started and it runs for, I don't know, a month, month and a half, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it is um, lights. Things are lit up like they have like figurines and bugs and all of this festival of lights thing going on at the zoo. Neat. I think that sounds super cool. I'm going to see if Dale wants to go. I'm going to go, Dale, let's go to the zoo and I see love this zoos. fun stuff that's happening. I love the zoo. Yeah, you have to look it up. It looks really cool. It looks like a lot of fun. Maddie just went to, have you ever been to Dow Gardens? Yes. Maddie just went to Dow Gardens a couple of weeks ago. They have their butterfly house is, yeah. is going. So she went and hung yeah. out with the butterflies. We went to the Dow Gardens when the big ships, the tall ships. Oh, were the tall there. ships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the tall ships are in Bay City. Yeah, but it's so close. Yeah, relatively. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... We're, we, you're in the same neighborhood for us when, you know. <laughs> yeah, relatively. Yeah. Now, also at, is it at Dow Gardens that has the lighthouse access? No, Dow Gardens is in Midland. It's not even near the water. Okay, what has the lighthouse? Maybe it's just the lighthouse. When you go up to the tall ships, maybe it's just the lighthouse. But I thought it's owned by Dow. It could be. There's a lot of things owned by Dow. I think Dow it is here. owned by Dow, and you can visit that lighthouse only during the tall ships. In fact, you are a uh, firsthand witness to everything Dow owns. Remember when we were yarn crawling? Yeah, we tried to drive right through there, we didn't we? We couldn't get through the street because Dow freaking bought the street. And she's driving down this road, and she's like, how come we can't get through here? What? What? And so we pull up, and here's this guard comes out, and... Uh, guard shack and he's like yeah they changed this a while back and um <laughs> can't you know this is the yeah the company now owns the road yeah blocked off yeah which that's how i used to get from my house to midland was that road that's what you were trying to do yeah and it said no go no 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 bueno no bueno yeah, so we went around and took some other side road off the. Okay, now I'm really confused. Last week or mm -hmm. Monday or whenever. And we were talking about the Ann Arbor Fiber, Fiber Festival. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. And how you thought that we had been to that one. Yeah. Like, but the Ann Arbor Fiber Festival is supposed to have all these animals and stuff like like the one up north. Yes. Now that's according to the people. Wait, the one up north. Oh, up north for you. It's not north. Yeah, it's north for me. It's like west for west you. West for me, yeah. Yeah. You, that one. The one we've been to twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
And you thought that this was the same place. I did. And now I'm agreeing with you. Oh, are you? Because I got a text from the booksellers. Oh. Remember the one whole yes. barn the was barn filled was with used, used books. books. Yes. And so they sent me a text the other day that the book sale's coming, blah, blah, blah. And it's next weekend. And it's at that place. And Interesting. That's where the fiber festival is. See, but and there I were no, we were in, I there were no we were animals in, there. Last there were definitely no animals. But okay, let me throw this at you. And I'm not. I, I'm just. This is just a thought. The weather was real crappy that day. It was is it possible that maybe they canceled that part of it because I of don't, the crappy weather. I don't know. But all these people at the class last weekend with Tony Lipsy, they were like, oh yeah, it's awesome. They got like, it's a true fiber festival. They have the animals. Even Tony said that. And I'm like, there were no animals at that. No, there were definitely no animals. We didn't miss part of it. did? We? There's no way we missed part well, of it. I don't know. It seemed like there was just those two barns. The yeah. one barn that had yarn and the other one had the books. Yeah. And there was even no, I mean, for everybody to say that, that it was so awesome. I didn't, I mean, they didn't even have like food. There was just the one. There was, a, there was a food truck out front. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. There was a I food mean, it wasn't truck. like the Michigan Fiber Festival where it's like a. No. Through, you know. Yeah. But they were talking about all the barns with all the stuff. And I'm like, that's why I thought it was a different place Interesting. but apparently now that i got this notification from the book people i'm like well that's the same address and everything uh -huh. interesting right so i don't know i'm confused now i'll just say i'm confused now <laughs> <laughs> well it sounds to me like we're gonna have to investigate well it's next weekend yep yep we're gonna have to go investigate like i said we could go on sunday i can't go on saturday because I'm going to be trying to go. Yeah. Get to the end of this ball of yarn here. I am too. And it's kind of catching on each other. And Well, mine was all tangled. I've got it all untangled now. Yeah. This other blanket I'm making, I am, um, the balls of yarn are fairly small. They're just through these little 50 gram, uh, balls of yarn and they're very tangled inside um are they yeah they are 50 grams so but they're fingering weight so and it's only 175 yards in here so oh. i'm going through these like crazy and now especially that my blanket's getting a little bit bigger what um, yarn it's this drops saffron uh -oh. it's called uh, 100% cotton, but now that my um, rounds are getting bigger, it's taking me, depending on the stitch, a whole thing just to go around the blanket once. I have some of that drops, uh, as I thought it was called at first, muskrat. It's not muskrat. It's muscat. <laughs> There's no R to make it a rat. <laughs> muskrat sounds cooler. I know. I probably always call it drops muskrat. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what I did today? What did you do today? I can only imagine. I know, right? I had three hanks of yarn. I mm -hmm. wanted to take up. Uh huh. I had my yarn for Expression Fiber Arts March Square. Okay. And then I had two hanks for Wonderland, March and April squares, because I want to keep up with those. Yes. So I was going to cake up these three hanks of yarn. Mm -hmm. Get everything out, get my ball winder, my Swift all set up, ready to go. Pick up my Expression Fiber Arts hank and cut the ball band off. And I was like, that felt a little tough. Oh, you cut through the yarn, didn't you? I sure did. Oh, yep. not not one strand. 
but to. Oh man, that's so. I'm like, okay, well, now that I've done that, let's see if I can still cake it up with my winder and everything. And yeah. it actually because. I think it was all pulling from the center, really, as I was winding. Uh huh. Oh, look at that. Can you believe that? Look, that is all I pulled out of the center for. Whoa. You no won. globs, no nothing. Man, you won the center pull lottery today. I'm telling you. Yeah. So, because of the way it was wound and where I cut, I was able to cake up most of it uh-huh um before i hit the brakes <laughs> <laughs> i've always worried about doing that when i've I, never done it i have I, never yeah, i've never done it but i've always worried about yep. it yep first time for everything yep so i was like well boop on my shoes you know, I was watching, I don't even remember, this was quite a while ago, I was watching someone on YouTube, and she had kind of a uh, finished basement like you have, and um, she had a designated area where she was able to leave her Swift and ball winder set up at all times. Well, that would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Because there's times when I want to use yarn, and I'm like, you know, I don't want to take it up, and the ball winder, and setting it all up, and putting it back. That's why whenever I do it, I grab a bunch of stuff. Right. Right. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna cake up several things, make well, it. Work. Okay, let me ask you this question, and Melinda, I Melinda, Melinda. That would be a wise idea, now, wouldn't it? What's that? To just slip the band off the Hank. Oh, yeah, yeah. Melinda, thank you for being here today. <laughs> <laughs> Melinda, if only you could have been here earlier today. <laughs> oh, I thought, see, I worry about doing it when I'm cutting the little pieces of yarn. Oh, that I never worry together. about it there. I don't worry about it there. I always slide the bands off. I didn't realize you were talking about the Oh, bands. no, I cut the band off. Oh, yeah. no, I always slide the band No, off. I cut the band off. That's what I did. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. But do you ever, do you ever, okay, here, and this is something that, I don't know, for some reason, you know, I try to say that I do things my own way and I don't let, you know, whatever people say is the right way to do something, mm -hmm. you know, whatever affect me. But sometimes some people say things and it just maybe sticks in my brain a little bit. And one thing I heard someone say a really long time ago, and it just kind of stuck with me, um, is that if you cake up your hanks too soon before you're going it to stretch too much. Them, it stretches your yarn yeah. and i don't know that there's a basis in fact for that but for some reason that that little tidbit of knowledge has always stayed in my brain so you don't do it yeah i try not to do it until i'm right before i'm well, going to do a project so this came up in bad sheep yarns live a couple weeks ago and some people said even her, the dyer, says, yeah. well, you know, there could be some truth that she says, I don't know. She says, I suppose if you have something that's just caked up for years and years, I don't know. She said, I wouldn't worry about it a whole lot. And then there's other people were commenting things like they double cake it. What does that mean? So after from the hank to the cake. Uh-huh. And then they take the cake and recake it. What would that do? Loosens it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That loosens it even a little more. Okay. And I was like, oh, well. Now you wouldn't say I have a ton of stuff caked up. I mean, I'll cake up, you know, a few things, but. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, I, I'm not saying that I believe that. I just, it's just one of those little tidbits that just stuck in my brain and. Hello, Ms. Brenda. Um, Linda, you could see my shawl. It's a scarf, truly. It's called the Adventurous Scarf. 
it's still in its growing phase. I have not gotten to the point where I've evened it off. Because have you been working on it at all? I have. I'll go get it. Right. I'll show you. I'm excited to see the color transitions. Yep. I've got my colors, my next color going. Oh, good. I'm going to make it a little wider than she said. Because she only used 13 minis on hers. And I've got 20. How many am I using? 21, I thought, maybe. Oh, wow. So I'm going to make it a little wider and make it more like a wrap. I'm going to make a wrap. That's what I'm doing. Hi, Brenda. We're wrapping. I'll go get it. Wrap. Yep. Going to make a wrap. Yep. Bad, bad We're wrapping. We're wrapping. <laughs> And I am just, I, you know, I, I'm doing something that I rarely do. Well, I am taking breaks to diamond paint um, in my day, but I'm really trying to get this blanket done that I'm working on. I have actually worked on it the last couple of mornings because I didn't have those other hanks ready to go. Because oh. I really want to work on my squares, too, to keep my squares. I want to keep up, up, up to, to date. date. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. It's looking like a looking like a something. A hooshi mama top. It's a crop top. <laughs> I got a crop top right now. Okay, so here's my two colors. I started with the plain yellow. It's not really plain yellow. There's some tonal to it. Okay. And mine's gonna be all matchy matchy. Now Tony was like, you don't have to match, you don't have to, you know, blend. You can just throw whatever color in and it always turns out. But I'm matchy matchy. So, and I'm not the only person that was there that was matchy matchy either. So then I'm going into the yellow with orange. Okay. So here it is. Let's see if I can, you know, and Tunisian crochet is going to curl. It always curls, you guys. And it's just the nature of the beast. So this is what I currently have. Is this. Nice. Oh, yeah. I can see where the orange is coming in. That mm -hmm. looks good. Yeah. Yep. So I've done, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows with the new color. And you alternate the old color and the new color for a while. So I've really learned. I've really come a long ways. And you can tell if you get really close up to this down here at the bottom, I was not getting in the correct stitches right down here. So my edge is a little funky. Up here, though, my edge is looking beautiful because now I'm getting into the right stitch on the edge. So um, this is, this will be the bottom. This is the bottom. Now, is that pattern available on her site at all? Or it, is that something that was exclusive to the... No, you can buy the pattern. Okay. Yeah. I, I technically bought the pattern with the class. With the class, right. <laughs> so this will be the bottom. This is actually the, if you can imagine, this is the bottom of it. Let me see if I can show it to you like this. This will be the bottom and this is one edge over here. And then as it grows, this will become an edge over here. It'd be the other side. Right. Pretty cool, though. I think it's very pretty. I think it's very, very pretty. So, um, and here's my issue. You know, Angie, you, you've dabbled in some Tunisian. Yes. And... As a pencil grip, pencil grippers have a hard time. Very difficult. Yes, you've got to, to do Tunisian. Yep, you have to change. You have to become a knife gripper. There's well, I've I've still done this pencil grip. Have you? Yes, but the more fabric I have, I was just gonna say yes. Once it gets wider, the wider it's, it's getting, more the more fabric I have, yep. it's harder to hold it inside yep. my my hand like yep. that. I can. When I was working on those sweater panels or the yeah. for that elf coat. Yeah. I had to uh, once my panels got yep. to a certain width. I had to change. I, nice yeah, grip. I can still I can still do it right now, but I'm gonna if I if I make it up wrap like I just said I was going to I'm not gonna be able to uh yeah Continue. we still have to do something for our crochet along in Tunisian yeah 
It's I mean, still like, Tunisian is fun. It is fun. But I, I prefer the Tunisian knit stitch to the Tunisian simple stitch. I haven't done the knit stitch. I think I love the look of the knit stitch a lot more. Well, I like the simple stitch as well. I, I'm not fussy as far as that goes, but the sim or the knit stitch is very easy. You just go between through, between the legs rather than at the yeah. You go between the stitches. Yep. Yep. And you know what? I'm going between the stitches because that's how you do increases. Yes. So I'm going between the stitches at the beginning and at the end right now because this is growing on both sides at this point. Right. So that's all that is. I feel like I've been going in this round. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I felt like I was going in this round forever and maybe I missed my connection, but it's right here. You know, that's one thing we could have done with. No, because we turned every round. I was thinking we could have eliminated this visible seam if we would have just started going in a yeah. continuous round. No, 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 you can't. No, but, you but we got according to this. No, no we got to turn every round. According to this pattern, it's like nope. Okay, so I'll show you where I am with my blankie. How much it's grown since last week. I don't know if you remember how big it was last week when we talked, but. Um, I've, it's grown quite a bit. Whoops. Let me get my yarn out of the way, but it being fingering weight yarn, it is very, very slow to grow, but you can see how much more I've gotten done. Yeah. You got a lot. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's the back. <laughs> Probably look prettier if I showed you the front, but the one thing, and you'll notice a lot of ends even on the front because in each... So the first, like, uh, the center motif is, like, uh, 47 rounds or whatever. And then you repeat um, 20 rounds. It's a 20-round repeat that you just keep going until you get the size of the blanket that you want. And Whoa. then there's a border. Oh, so it's just 20. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's it's not it's, different yeah, all through yeah, it. Yeah, right. Which I, Maddie and I were talking because, you know, I've done a few Hooked on Sunshine patterns and like Ardith, which is my favorite Hooked on Sunshine blanket, has no repeats. There's no repeat rounds. Gotcha. And I and this one is called Thingy Mabob. And this one has the 20 round repeat, you know, to get to the size of your blanket. But I th and I think I like the Ardith better, not repeating. But one thing about this, why I have tails on my front is because in each repeat, there's a surface slip stitch round. So I have and you know, I don't weave my ends in until the end. So the back is, you know, pretty Pretty uh, hairy. Pretty hairy, but I've got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot done. Tony had a really pretty shawl that was just this basic stitch. Uh huh. But then when you're done with it, you did a surface crochet on top and you made these cute, like, panels. Oh, with, uh huh. With the yep. surface with crochet the on it. Yep. It was pretty yep. cool. Her mom was like, yeah, you know, this is crocheted on afterwards. And I'm like, okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Francesca. Francesca, that could be, if I get it done, I probably shouldn't commit. Well, I'm going to commit myself because that's how I get things done. Francesca, it could be yours. What is honey gunk? Hi, there's a honey now. I don't know. What's, if it's a, honey, honey what's a honey gunk? I don't know. What is honey gunk? I've never heard of honey gunk. I love honey. What you been up to, dear? Yeah, honey. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Put that with the income tax. Oh, yeah. Ugh, I don't even want to hear those two words. I know, right? I have, you got, you haven't done yours yet either? We just mailed them out. Oh, did ya? We had to mail them out because, well, I didn't have to, but we owe money. <laughs> Oh, welcome to my world. So we have to pay in every single year. We're trying to rectify that situation. <laughs> yeah, we pay. And then I'm especially, well, I had quite a bit of taxes withheld when I got that payout from the insurance company, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough. Um, and Jeff is super nervous about it. 
And so I have been procrastinating on doing the taxes this year because I know that he's going to be in a bad mood. Oh, <laughs> I have had ours done for a while. And because we owed money and needed to send it in, right, I waited right. and waited and waited. Yes, right yesterday. Be that blanket is going to be one of our door prizes. Hmm. <laughs> Cats out of the bag now. Well, just that. That one little teeny <laughs> thing. Don't tell everybody, Francesca. Right. If they're not here, they don't get to know. That's right. Don't spread Inside the rumor. Inside scoop. Don't spread <laughs> the rumor. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah, I figured I'm not going to send... I'm not going to send my taxes in any earlier than I have to. Well, that's what I told Jeff. I don't want well, because we do them, you know, we submit them, you know, online and then we just have, we just pay with a credit card. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Um, And so uh, I told him, I'm like, what's the sense of paying them before it's due, you know? But really, my true, my true reason for procrastinating is that I know he's going to be upset. And it's going to make him in a bad mood. So I'm just trying to prolong that as long as I well, can. Annie's has a Tunisian one, a kit club. I didn't realize that, Linda. Annie's has a what? A Tunisian. Oh, I didn't know that either. Oh, Brenda was talking about honey gunk. Her leg is better because of honey gunk. Still don't know what honey gunk is, but uh, she said Malaluka honey or something. She says it's amazing stuff for wounds. Hi, Sean, the crafty lady lair. Oh, now we have two people that know Sean knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh goodness, I've got a little snag here. And I don't want it. I don't, I don't want it. That's the one thing I keep doing with my Tunisian is I keep like not getting the whole stitch and getting like one little, one little strand. strand yeah. And I'm like, no, then I have to get it off there. And I keep doing that on my surface slip stitch round on that blanket. Um, I, because you do a round of single back loop only, and then a round of singles, and then a round of half doubles. And then you go back to your first round of singles and do the slip, the surface slip stitch. So you've got a little bit of um, fabric, you know, um, built up. And so I've been, when I've been doing the slip stitches, sometimes I'll grab like a strand from the top of the half double round and it folds it over and I don't notice it until I'm way down the line and I have to rip the whole thing out and do it all over. It's frustrating. Nothing like ripping stuff out. Ugh, no. So you know how easy it is to tear out crochet. You just pull your string. Just pull your string, yep. The Tunisian, though. No, it's not easy. You got to unloop, 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 yep, unloop. Yep. <sighs> I've done it multiple times, as you can tell. <laughs> by what I'm saying. I'd like, I should check out the Annie's Tunisian one. Although I don't need to get another Annie's Club thing going. No, no. I, I'm up to date. I have my third package. I have to get busy on my third package. I have all I have three packages and I'm yep. not up to date. And you haven't started it. Well, I have. I've done um probably half of the first pack. Okay. But, um I'm not definitely not up to date. My primary focus is finishing that stinking blanket. That's what I've been working on. Okay, I got to mark down a new row here on my pad. Keep them oh, track. I can go back and count later, I suppose. Right, right. And you could always, you could always count it to make it easier. You could always just count from your. Gym. I know from the armpit. Yeah, from your armpit. Mm -hmm, I know. When Angie was here, I was like, okay, Angie, 
count my rows for me. I, you know, there's a whole different thing to figuring stuff out on your own and guessing or assuming you're doing things right or whatever versus sitting with somebody else and looking at something together. And right? I counted them wrong the first time. <laughs> well, but we came up with the con same consensus the second time. Yes. It's just, it's just nice sometimes to have another person that knows yep. what they're doing, look at something, talk about something. Like here, it's very difficult for us online here to show real close up technical stuff. Well, especially with both of us, with having a split screen. Right. And it might, okay, you know, let's see something. Let's see how, um, who is it going to show? It's going to show me. Now, how much closer does it get? But see, it's still, huh? this is not the best camera or the best camera. I was going to say, I think, yeah, for stuff like that. And see, gotta, that's why when people camera, record this kind of stuff. They have close up. Yeah. Yeah. They have a different camera setting and whatnot. It is a lot closer, though, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. like, if we really are trying to show something, just remind us of that in the future. Matt, you know, go go uh, close up screen. You know what I mean? Right. And I also mm -hmm. think that people who do stitch tutorials and stuff like that are very uh, aware of, like... Oh, look, that even changed it. The color and... Uh, you normally have it on this. Oh, let's do this. Oh, wow, that's way nice. Why don't we do that all the time? Well, let's do that all the time. Yeah. Just remind me, okay? Yeah, because the other way we had like a band at the top. It does, which we don't need. No, definitely not. Okay, well, see, we just gotta play with things sometimes. I I had the wrong thumbnail on the video to start with today, and I was like, I must be able to change it, but how can I change it now that I'm in here? I know how to edit it before I'm actually in but i can edit it when i'm in i figured that out too i'm i'm learning those old dogs and new tricks thing you know it's possible yeah possible for you maybe not likely for me <laughs> well i'm learning things i'm learning things oh i have still remember monday i was telling you that I have been having a problem the past week with headaches. Mm -hmm. Still, it's still going on. I, I've i never, ever suffered with, with headaches in any way. But the past week, I have had like a horrible headache every day. Mm. Go ahead and tell me what you want to tell me. It's not a tumor. <laughs> oh, right. It's not a Duma. I'm like, what do I want to tell you? I was gonna tell you go take some Excedrin migraine. That's what I was gonna say, but I don't ha I don't even have any. Tell Jeff to get you some. I did take some ibuprofen, but Excedrin migraine. I'll kick it out. Kick it right out. Yeah, it's highly annoying. Well, you know. Maybe it's also a little allergy driven because I think that it is a lot. It is so excedrin migraine and allegra. There you go. Oh, what? Jeff does have some allergy medicine in there. I'll try that. But I swear by excedrin migraine. It's my go to. Just don't take too much of it because then you'll get high as a kite. Really? Yeah. You'll do all kinds of goofy stuff. I've told you that story, haven't I? No. Oh, goodness. At a horse show with my daughter, I had a toothache. Uh-huh. And what did I have in my purse? Et cetera, and migraine. Okay. So I popped a couple. It didn't stop. I popped a couple more. Okay. Stop. I don't know how many I took throughout the you course of the You took more than four? I took a bunch. I took a bunch. Yeah. Oh. And later in the evening, I was just high as a kite. I was high strung. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't Well, because the center of migraine has caffeine in it. Does it really? Yes, it does. <laughs> so here I am at 2 o'clock in the morning 
I can't sleep. I can't rest. I can't do anything. I get up at two o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. And I go to Meyer by myself, get a cart. I'm pushing the cart around. I'm like dancing, singing, carrying on in Meyer at two o'clock in the morning because I am just flying high. Oh my gosh. Learn my lesson there real quick. Well, I told you I had uh, not with Excedrin migraine, but I, and this is a very common thing with this medication. I have long suffered from insomnia. And so uh, for a time they prescribed me Ambien and I did all kinds of wacky shit on mm -hmm. Ambien. <laughs> I would get up, I would cook full meals and wake up in the morning and have oh. no memory of it. And oh, that's fun. The kitchen would be a wreck. And you didn't even know you did it? Nope. Didn't know I did it. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, what wasn't cool was shopping online and not remembering. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. One night I got in my car in the middle of the night. The girls were at my ex-husband's and I drove over there because I had had a bad dream that they weren't okay. And so I drove over there to check on them and yeah. Yeah. And, and on top of the Excedrin migraines that I took that afternoon, of course, what else was I doing? Drinking Diet Pepsi. Oh, so, so you're getting even more caffeine. Sure. Yeah. I have developed a pretty good tolerance to the caffeine, though. <laughs> I will say. I do have to say that I wouldn't classify my relationship with caffeine as a tolerance but as a necessity when we were traveling if i didn't have my diet coke in the morning o m g i uh, i mean caffeine what i think i'm i have a caffeine addiction i'm pretty well, sure of course we all do anybody who drinks caffeine of course yeah hallucinations with ambien oh yes absolutely ambien is crazy shit can be in this crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, all that stuff is common. All yeah, the biggest thing for me, and this happened repeatedly. I finally stopped taking it because I, I was doing so much wacky stuff. But the mm -hmm. biggest thing that I did was the uh, cooking and eating, and uh, I would wake up and there would be just a complete nightmare of a mess in my kitchen. That's interesting. Mm hmm. Okay, I have a question for anybody who sleeps, wakes up, and sleeps again. Like today, I was up at 620. Mm -hmm. I got up, I looked at my phone, I did all kinds of stuff. I crocheted for a while, and I'm sitting on the couch, and then I laid down and I took a nap. I mm -hmm. fell back to sleep, right? And started having the most bizarre, weird dreams. And then I remember waking up. And I'd nod off again. And I remember I was having more dreams. I don't remember any of them now, but I just remember I kept waking up, falling asleep and dreaming strange dreams. I tend to think that that's when I have my weird dreams or absolutely dreams. Yes. It's after I have woken up yep. and gone back to sleep again. Definitely. Then the dreams come. Yep. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> so lesson to be learned just don't go back to sleep right <laughs> don't don't go back to sleep wow i don't know what i did there but i screwed that up somewhere is that my join that might be my join no it's not it's just a weird looking stitch i don't know what i did i missed something properly there okay maybe just... you did a regular single crochet instead of an extended i, I don't know what i did it's like i it just looks weird. I missed a strand. I did something weird. I don't know. We're just cruising on through there, though. We're... Yes, Brenda, it is crazy shit. And you know what sucks is it, I mean, inside, if you've ever struggled with, and I have struggled with insomnia since I was a teenager, if you've ever had really, really bad insomnia, it is hell. Insomnia is horrible. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's awful. Uh, 
And so when I started taking the Ambien, at first I was sleeping and it was like, oh my gosh, this is a godsend. You know what I mean? This is finally I can sleep. But then all that weird, crazy stuff started happening. And I'm like, well, sometimes the cure is not worth the the treatment or whatever. The, you know what I mean? So now I just have insomnia. I never had that problem. Ugh. I mean, other than other than just the occasional night when I'm awake because I got too much in my brain and no, I've I've had ins I've gone for days without sleeping. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Never. And you that. feel just like a zombie, and your eyes burn, and yeah, it's it's not fun. Oh, and there's Dawn. She takes it with no side effects. See, and that, yeah, that's awesome. I, yeah, I wish I could have had no side effects because it did work. It's just a sleep aid. Is that what it? Yeah, yeah, it's a sleep aid. Now I take trazodone, which is like um, I think it's like a milder something or other, and. It doesn't always work, but it works enough that I'm not, you know. Well, all I need is some Benadryl. That would knock me out. <laughs> I can't take Benadryl. It puts me right to sleep. It's funny, when my mom was doing chemo, they give her all of these pre-meds. What are pre-meds? I don't know. They're, well, I don't know what all of them are. There's different things. There's like, there There you go, NyQuil. NyQuil, that would knock me out too, Jody. <laughs> Just take some NyQuil. Um, there's like a nausea medicine or oh, something okay. else. Okay. And, then, uh, and then there's Benadryl. Uh-huh. And they put Benadryl in the pre-meds before chemo. And the first few times my mom would take the pre-meds and she'd just be like high as a kite. She'd just be goofy and just laugh and like, oh, oh, you know, and I'm like, okay, mom. All right. You know, and then we came to realize that it was her Benadryl that was doing that. Oh, that was making her, her loopy. Yeah. And she's like, well, I'm a cheap drunk. I mean, I have a video of her holding up oh, her God. little <laughs> IV thing, just acting goofy and laughing. And I'm like, well, then as things proceeded, they'd give her the pre-meds and she'd just usually just fall asleep. Right. It would just make her fall asleep during the rest of the chemo treatment. So. I had a kind of a funny experience uh, when my grandpa, um, he was... He, he he had lung cancer and and he was you know he was that there was nothing they could do for him and he was at home on hospice and it was towards the very end and uh, he couldn't swallow pills anymore and so they had given him um, topical morphine it was a cream that you rubbed on his skin and it would absorb you know for the pain it would absorb through his skin yes. And, um, you know, they warned us, you know, make sure we use gloves when we would, you know, put it on him or whatever, which we, which we did. And, and it was all fine. But the one, I, I, this was very near the end. I was sitting in his room next to him, on the bed next to him. And um, I was just rubbing his arm, talking to him. And then I went back out into the living room and I started to feel super weird. Oh, because you got it off of his <laughs> I got, Yeah. <laughs> all the way rubbed in it's <laughs> like, weird i've never heard of a topical morphine yeah, my, mom's, yeah. my mom's was liquid yeah this was a, a like a lotion mm. and my mom's was liquid you just kind of squirt it down their mouth and it was weird they said they don't even really have to swallow it if they don't swallow well they just get it in their mouth and it right because it absorbs yeah it absorbs into the yes mm -hmm. It happened to me, uh, actually, I drugged myself at work once, too. Um, we were cleaning <laughs> up a um, a mushroom grove operation. And oh. 
Um, I didn't, uh, so I was cleaning out the, it was, it was in like an aquarium tank, these, and I was. We're not talking morels here. No, we're not talking morels. No, we're talking, you know, the fun kind of mushrooms. And I did not know. So I was cleaning out the mushrooms out of this tank so I could get rid of the tank. I mean, the mushrooms, of course, we were going to destroy in the manner in which we destroyed of drugs. Um, but. Uh, I did not know that psilocybin would uh, absorb through your skin. And so I got high off mushrooms on accident by touching them. Well, didn't you? Uh, at work. Didn't you guys get high from some other stuff one time? Yeah, we did get high that one other time at work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Disposing? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <sighs> We were, we were doing a, a burn, a drug burn operation, and we were doing it within the walls of our parking area. It was a walled area, but with no roof on top. And it was a very, uh, one of those, it was a drizzly day and there was no wind and, um, and it kind of pushed the exhaust down it swirled around within the walls and we breathed it all in and yeah <laughs> that was an interesting day it's funny drugs are funny like you see people talking about how different people react differently to different drugs you know mm -hmm. like benadryl gets somebody wired or gives them dreams or right i, I just go sleep with benadryl <laughs> You know, what's interesting to me is all the, the um, ADHD medications yeah. that it, like for a normal person who does not have ADHD, has the, has the opposite of it. Yes, yes. That's like, um, I remember a friend of mine when her daughter was first diagnosed and having some issues before they gave her medication, they told her to just give her a nice great big bottle of uh, Mountain Dew in the morning. Yep. Yep. And it would settle her down. Yep. And I'm like, you know, most people would get wired up with all the caffeine. Yeah. My I remember my nephew when he was a kid and was first diagnosed, they did that they did the same thing. Interesting, right? Yep. So if we were to take some of those, we would be like wound for sound. Like yep. Whoa, yep. and that's why they sell it. Exactly. That's why it's a black market that yeah, that's why it's they a sell popular it. black market uh, item. Yeah, In correct. fact, Maddie, Maddie has ADD and she has taken medication since she was in second grade. And um, she's having a really hard time getting her medication right now from the pharmacies. Pharmacies all have a shortage of it because it's being so overprescribed. Very interesting. Mm hmm. Yep. That and you know what we were talking about the other night at uh at trivia, this is kind of along those same lines, but um people say like with drinking, like alcohol is just alcohol. It doesn't matter if you're drinking beer or whiskey or tequila oh, or whatever. I would, I would differ. <laughs> I differ too. I disagree too. I think a whiskey drunk is way I different disagree. than a beer drunk. <laughs> Right. I mean, you know, that song about tequila making your clothes fall off. It's yes. not, you know, that's not just fiction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, rum, for example, rum makes me mean. I'm a mean drunk if I drink rum. Oh, wow. Which I'm not generally a mean person. I don't drink rum anymore because when you... Do what I did on a fifth of rum. You don't drink rum again, like ever. You don't ever want it again. <laughs> I feel that way about Southern Comfort. I can't even stand the smell of it. Right. <laughs> How funny. But yeah, I totally disagree with the whole a beer drunk and an alcohol drunk or mm. yeah way different yeah 
Oh, tequila, right, Brenda? Tequila. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely, Francesca. Yes. The clearer the alcohol, the easier the hangover. I prefer zero hangover. <laughs> oh, one's having a cookout. What, Sean? Oh, oh, Angie's story, the cookout. I got you. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that was a special kind of cookout. My my rum, my rum, mm, no, my, that was not good. Jody, uh, that is very interesting. Hmm, huh, that is very interesting. Well, Jennifer likes some hot damn. <laughs> you know, it's interesting when they say, you know, like about alcoholism running in families or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it also, like, it's weird that, like, my grandparents never drank a drop of alcohol in their lives. Never. No, my aunt doesn't drink. I will occasionally have a drink, but I'm definitely not an alcoholic. Um, but my dad is quite the drinker. So it's like, he's like opposite of everybody else in our family. My grandpa was an alcoholic and my uncle, his son, was an alcoholic. Dale's dad was and his brother was. I yep. think it, I think there's something to that. Oh, I absolutely agree. I definitely think there is. I mean, my dad is definitely is. And um, my grandparents on my mom's side we're both alcoholics, but my mom doesn't drink. So that's interesting. Yeah. And I think that other members of the family have to make a conscious choice. Like Dale definitely made a conscious choice to be like, no. Oh, see, and my mom, I, she just doesn't care to. I mean, it wasn't, you know. She, he's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be like them, you know. Right, right. I mean, I used to do a lot of partying in my youth, but as an adult, months can go by and I don't have anything, any alcohol. And I mean, I'm not saying he, Dale hasn't drunk or has some beers or whatnot. Right. To, to take it to that, you know. Right. Yeah. To a dependency or a... Yeah. And my mom, I'm, 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 my mom would be the same way. I mean, I know my mom has drank. My mom's been drunk. She's talked about some of her drunken dancing on the table, New Year's. <laughs> you know? Right. But never, never took it to the extreme, you know? Right. Well, I just figure alcohol is a depressant, and I'm depressed enough without it, so <laughs> I don't need it. It's like, I don't think I have ever felt depressed when I was drunk. Uh, Not while I was drunk, but afterwards, probably. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, yeah, definitely felt sad after. I don't, I don't really think I felt like that, but I've just always had a good time until I'm, you know. Until you're not. <laughs> Until I'm head down in the toilet. Right, right, right. It's not so good then, but no, I wasn't depressed. I was right. too <laughs> to depressed. <laughs> well, congratulations, Brenda. It's hard work, right? Oh, Brenda, that is amazing. Yeah. Good for you. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> It took my uncle getting cancer and being sick to stop. And then he did. And he was mean. He was just a mean guy, you know? Violent, mean kind of guy. Mm -hmm. just, not always, but he wasn't always violent. But he was always mean when he was drunk. Right.
Yeah, it's just weird as I mean, like I said, I used to be quite the partier, but uh, as I've gotten older, I just I just have no interest in it. I just exactly take it or leave it, you know? Exactly. I don't even have any desire to go out and have a drink, you know? Nope. No. Like at Dale's birthday when his daughter bought the great big tower margaritas, you know? They're like, Do you want one? I'm like, No. No. No, I don't. Twenty six. Twenty six what? I'm counting. Oh. <laughs> I'm counting uh twenty six what? Rows. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the time. We probably Oh, I looked I looked a few minutes ago. Uh, I looked a few minutes ago and it wasn't even 3 (laughs) 30. It's funny you should say that because I was just talking to Maddie about we were you know that song um Big Shot by Billy Joel? When I hear that song, it makes me think of stupid shit that I did when I was drunk and acting a fool and yeah and you wake up and you're embarrassed by the way you acted yeah yeah well that can happen i blame blame that tequila that's (laughs) that's the stupidest stuff i ever did was i'll blame it on tequila yeah the rum that story i was real young at that time and i don't think i really did anything stupid except fall down in the stairwell and puke i mean you know that's about the extent of that. The tequila, right. though, that was a different story. Hmm. All right. Well, we will reconvene. I guess we know what we're doing, right? Yeah, we're we'll reconvene next week with all of our... Finishing however rows. many rows of this we do. And then I'm going to assume we're going to get into the lacy portion. Yes, and we're going to move on to the bottom fun part i just hope this is gonna fit you know i'm gonna try this on after this right yes i uh, i i yes you know i'm gonna i'm gonna take, i probably should too just to make sure my armholes are big enough i'm gonna take like my sweater off and i'm gonna try this crop top on and and i'm almost to the end of my first cake so i tried it on last week though I, I was worried my head wasn't going to fit through the hole. My, my head fits fine, right? The head fits fine. I don't know about the rest of it, though. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Head in. Oh, you're doing it right now? I am. Uh-huh. Oh. I'm trying to right this second. Okay. Ooh, except it twisted on me. Oh, wow. Well. And how's it looking? Well, it's form fitting. Let's just well, work. that's what you wanted, isn't it? I'll show you. Without and, and, and you keep in mind it will stretch. I know. It's it's certainly a little crop top right now. There we go. Oh, good. That's cute. Oh, you're getting there. Look there. I got it. Yeah. Look it. You're getting there. That looks I good. I am never a fan of these straight necks. The boat neck or whatever. Yeah. And any top that we've made that is just a panel, you just get mm-hmm. this straight across. Yeah. I want a scoop neck. I want a well, that's V. I want a, you know, something. But look, I'm to the boobs. We, we got, we got to, it's not going to increase here though. Well, you might, I was just going to say, you might want to put. I might want to be doing some increases to. Yes. It, just in the front, maybe. To go around the girls. Yeah. Because right. you, you got big girls. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to have to maybe do some increases from here to here. Yeah. I'm going to have to mark this side. Yes. Mark this side so I know that I want to do some increases. Increases there. there. I'm not certain how I want to do it. Increase at the. I would. Do it right. I would do it right at the the right armpit. The, mm, I don't know if I'd do it at the. At uh, the I would do it right. You'll notice them, I think. If you I think you will. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to need to. 
um, get a little larger. It fits fine here into the armpits, but I right. think I think going forward, unless okay, oh, wait, it is going to stretch. But wait, I don't have that many rows to go yet, right? No. So, what did I say I had? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I'm only going how many more rows? Six. Five, four. So, four rows is going to get to here. Right? And then we're going to do that lacy stuff. Right. So, you might not want to do the increase. I might not. I might want to just leave it alone for now. Because if it does something different when we get here. Right. And that's going to be a more forgiving. It's stitch. going to go. Yeah. Right. I'm going to. You don't want it to go out like a bell. Right. Jennifer, try that puppy on. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Oh, that's a string. I'm like, what is that? It's a string. So I'm going to wait to do any more increases because it's not super tight. It fits, right. but it's not super tight. And it does stretch. I mean, I got give here. See, I got give. And I got give in the pits. So, okay. That's it. Do you like my bib? <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of what it looks like. Now I feel like I'm wearing a bib. Okay. All right. That's the top, folks. That's it. Okay. Yeah, Jennifer, let's just roll with it and see how it goes. All right. That's how all the girls are wearing them, right? I'm telling you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how it looks um, before we start doing the baby doll section at the bottom. So, all right, everybody. We will see you right. next week. We will see you next week, everybody. See you later. Bye. Bye.